Hi everyone, welcome back to DevDojo Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming Using Java. Continuing our topic about variables, we already know that we have primitive types. Basically, we have eight primitive types in Java. We know how to declare a variable. We know how to assign. So to declare, you need to write down the type followed by some identification. It needs to be unique within the scope, uh, something that we are going to cover more in the Java 1.4 course. Uh, what is scope and then we know how to assign basically we have to use the equal sign followed by the value so the space is not necessary but it just keeps the code a little bit more organized now that we know these eight types we know how to declare we know how to initialize we know how to use identification we know the convention that if we have more than one board the first one is lowercase always lowercase and the next one should be should have the first letter capital. This is called came of keys. Um, came of keys, like this, came of keys. And you know, we are going to talk about this in a minute. So now that we know these types, they are basic numerics, they are booleans, they are characters. But what about string? What if I want to store in memory if I come here? What if I want to store in memory my name? What if I want to, to get something like this here? I would like to have a name. And I would like to store like uh, William, I would like to store Live Dojo, I would like to store here uh, Goku. So how, how do we actually have these with variables? So first thing that you have to know is that string is not primitive type, but is a special type in Java because we are going to use a string like all the time. String is part of any programs you are going to ever make in your life. So let's just first create here a new class. Let's call variables 03. And then I'm going to teach you another shortcut because every time we have to public and then static void main string args. Remember, IDEs, they were created to make your life easier. And this is something that we have to do all the time. There is a shortcut for that. You just press PSVM. You just write down PSVM and then you press tab and you have the entire method for you. So now you have two. By pressing tab after south, you also get the print ln. Okay, now how can we declare string? So string is not a primitive type. Basically, you just type string. And can you see here that this is like with uppercase s? So this is something that we are going to learn when we are working with Java, that the types that are not primitive, they will start with an uppercase letter. So right now, all the lower cases used here, they made the identification of these letters become blue. This means that these are keywords and keywords cannot be used as identification. So I cannot have here long and call, for example, this int. It's not going to work. But a string is not a keyword, but it's a class in Java. So you don't have to worry about that now, but they, basically this is the type and you follow the same structure. You first write the type and then uh, a unique identification within the scope and then you assign some value. So for example, if I type name, now I have here a variable. The type of this variable is a string and we have name. If I execute this, Control shift f 10 it's going to change here to 03. Nothing happened because the same thing. We didn't do anything with this yet. Now, to assign is the same process. First, you use the equal sign. And then, what's the type? It's a string. We know how it works with string. We have been using all the time here in the println. We just have to do the same, but instead of using to print something, I want to store a memory. So I want to store a name as we used there. I'm going to store Goku here. Now, I want to print this name. We have to follow exactly the same process. So sort system out print ln. And again, if I use like this, I'm going to print the literal name, not the value that we have stored inside this memory called name. What I want is to print the name. So basically what we have to do, name. Now, Control Shift F10. And as you can see, we have the value stored in memory. So basically now we have a reference variable 
So we have a variable here that's called name. And where is this name having a reference to? To this spacing memory. And this spacing memory has the value Goku. Now, what if you would like to print the name and like an identification to say, hey, this is the name. Goku is a name. So same thing. You open to double quotes and just add here name and you have to do concatenation control alt l to organize our code a little bit and then control shift f10 and as you can see now we have the literal name and we have the value is stored inside our memory name William, what if we had like an age so let's say here we have Goku's age let's say he's 35 years old what if I want to print the name and the age so you just have to keep concatenating so for example this does not have to stop right here but I could also add another one so I'll give a space here and then I could add age but if I add age here it there is no space you can see here this is not like a string space Basically, it's going to print the name and the number all together. It's going to do a concatenation. If you want to give a space, what do you have to do? You have to add a space here. So you first add double quotes because it's space. It is a string character. Then space. And then you do the concatenation again. So now if you have it like this, you will see there is a space in between the name and the age. If you want, you can also type here like comma age and column control shift f10 and as you can see we have a nice formatted text so as you can see you keep you can keep concatenating until technically there is no more space in memory so there is no limit the same with strings all the primitive types they do have like a specific size that should be obeyed but when we are talking about string, is not a primitive type. And a string is not also a keyword. For example, technically, I can have the name here, string again. It will be pretty confusing. I could also use the string here. So I don't want to confuse you, but you can use this name again because it's not a keyword. I can see here it's not blue like uh, the int keyword. So there is no limit in size. So technically you can put like a huge string technically as long as you have memory you can keep putting uh, stuff in your string variable but technically that's going not going to happen in real life but sometimes because some errors in our business logic we may do something that's going to hit the performance of our program pretty badly okay so now we do have like strings and what we are going to do after this is a little exercise because now you already know how to declare a variable you already know how to initialize a variable how to print the value i think it's time for us to do like a quick exercise to see if things are, are going well so i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye bye